out our back door we've got one of my favorite worm composters it's been raining a bit so some of the worms have come out the top but we'll, we put all our kitchen waste of things that the chickens and goats and that won't eat eggshells and a little bit of citrus and onion peels and all that and this is just a 44 gallon drum um, it has that container there and I, that that screws into it nicely so put on its side it leaches out the um, the liquids once once it's going well and then what I do is I take that and I keep putting it back in until it comes out really really dark and when it comes out really really dark I use a little funnel cut off a soft drink bottle put that into my milk bottle and I just tip that in there and collect the, um, the black gold into these containers so I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this fertilizer so I'm in our greenhouse now and I want to show you the little setup we have to do the irrigation and a way to allow us to do fertigation by adding fertilizer into the system. So basically we have an electronically controlled valve connected to the timer and the timer switches the pump on whenever we program it to. We use a little 12 volt pump. Very important that I've found is that we use a good quality filter. So the water is coming by gravity from our dam through the filter coming into the pump. The pump is then pressurizing the water a little and pushing it through and we've bought this little thing here off eBay so it's this T connected to this little pipe here with a little controller which is kind of like a valve with a valve with numbers on it. So it's set at zero now so that it's closed and then we just have that connected up to another little water bottle that's been cut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my worm tea that I showed you just before and I'm just going to pour that in here. Probably about a litre. And then I'm going to manually turn on the irrigation. Now I know it's going to turn on automatically in about five minutes or so. So I'm going to manually just turn it on and get it to suck this through the system and go out into the greenhouse out of the little sprayers and stuff. So <coughs> let me just turn it on. Okay, so it starts to pump, and then I'm just going to gently open this, pretty much open it to full so that it sucks it through, and I guess this is designed so that you just let through a little bit of the fertilizer at a time, but I don't want to stand here for ages and ages, because once this has gone through, then it's going to be sucking in the air. So I'm just going to let it all go through as, as fast as I can make it go through. And then, like I said, the irrigation is going to come on and then it's going to spray water over the same area, so it's going to get diluted. It's only going to be on now um, in a highly diluted form, but for a very short time. So we'll look into the top of our container. I don't know if you can see there, but it's already gone down to half. So... Pretty quickly it's it's sucking it in, it's probably only going to take a minute or so and that's a way for us to get that one litre of worm tea spread out throughout the whole greenhouse without having to add it to watering cans and water it manually. And we're doing, going to do this with magnesium sulphate, with uh, seaweed solution, you know sea sol could do this with a little bit of urine and any other kind of liquid fertilizer that you want to put through your system. And 
we found that if it doesn't go through here fast enough, you can just switch the pump on and off. Because every time you switch it on, it seems to suck through a whole, a whole lot. So I've got a little manual on and off switch. So I could switch it on and off to get it to go through even quicker. But it's going down now. You can see it's coming here below the label. So there's less than a quarter left. And I'll give post where I bought this or what I searched for, what it's called. Um, I think it was 20 something dollars. Uh, it came with a lot more pipe than I needed. It came with all that pipe, but um, it, we found that it wouldn't, it wouldn't suck out of a container very well. So we put this up a bit higher to help push it into the system. And set up like this, quite easy to do. And it seems to work pretty well now. And very soon now you'll see this is going to finish and then I'm just going to turn the tap off. It's got a little filter on the end. I mean that's also what you're paying for so that if this worm tea had a little bit of debris in it, it's not going to go in and then clog up the, the sprayers. So that's pretty much what it will go down to there. Now it's putting air in so I need to turn this off. And then I'll switch the pump off. And very soon it's going to come on in a couple of minutes anyway. Make sure it's left on automatic. That's the little timer that we use. It's a 12 volt timer. And I can program it. And if you can see the timer, it's 904. It's going to turn on 906 probably for about 5 minutes.